Once upon a time, there was a prolific and legendary writer from Ohio who used to be mentioned in the same breath as Sinclair Lewis, Eugene O'Neill, and F. Scott Fitzgerald. His name was Jim Tully, and for many years that was the end of the story. But our next guest, Paul Bauer, has reopened the book on this fine writer, and he's here to tell us why we need to take a second look. Paul is the co-author of Jim Tully, American Writer, Irish Rover, Hollywood Brawler. So we're, we're happy to have you here to talk about this, this Ohio in here. So before we get into the writing, um, give us a little bit of background on uh, Jim Tully. Well, Jim Tully was the child of Irish American immigrants. Uh, he was born in Western Ohio in 1886. His father was a ditch digger, worked uh, clearing uh, water from Auglaize County. This is out really near Lyme, Ohio, uh, in St. Mary's. And his mother was a domestic. She died uh, when he was about six years old. And then he spent six years, from the ages of about six to 12, in the Catholic orphanage of Cincinnati. Okay, and then after he was 12, what did he do? Well, he, uh, he pretty much hit the road. Okay. Uh, Hopped a child, the train, he was, right? <laughs> he, was, uh, he technically wasn't a hobo. He was a road kid. He was sort of oh. a junior hobo. But he rode back and forth across the country uh, for the next six years, really, as a child. Uh, uh, those were the experiences that uh, when he finally left the road, which he did in Kent, Ohio, uh, he ended up writing about. Okay, and then from Kent I understand that he went out to Hollywood and that's really when he started writing. Well, he, he really began writing poetry when he was oh. in Kent. His first work was uh, poetry published actually in The Plain Dealer in uh, 1911. Uh, he had worked at this time in Kent, he worked for Davy Tree, he was a professional boxer, uh, he worked on the railroad briefly, he worked in a rubber company, but he ended up uh, moving to Hollywood where he uh, hooked up with Charlie Chaplin of all people. My goodness. And once in Hollywood he began this sort of dual career writing about Hollywood, the golden age of Hollywood as he saw it was moving from silence to talkies but also writing these autobiographical books about his six years on the road. Okay, and the, the books that he wrote that were autobiographical uh -huh. are really what he became famous for? And that's what he became famous for, right, those, uh, those autobiographical books of, uh, of his experiences on the road. Real life, the hobo, the, the, all of the things he did. All so the things tell me saw. about some of the books then. Well, the, the first one, uh, the sort of his breakthrough book was uh, Beggars of Life, and that was really his autobiography of his years on the road. Everything he saw uh, went into that book. Uh, that was the one that really sort of established him. He worked uh, also uh, during his road years uh, uh, in a small-time circus, so that also was really sort of a true account, a true autobiography of what he did. Uh, he wrote a book called Shanty Irish, which was uh, mostly true, but it was somewhat uh, embellished about his, <laughs> uh, his fairly happy years uh, before the age of six and before his mother died. And then uh, he wrote really a straight novel about boxing called The Bruiser. So those, those are the four, uh, four of the main ones. Four biggies. Mm -hmm. Did everybody love his, his works? You know, he got terrific reviews. Uh, they sold well, but I would not say everyone loved them. Uh, one of his problems, he ran into censorship troubles with two of the books. He managed to not only get banned in, in New York and Boston, but the entire country of Canada banned one of the books. <laughs> the material is, I think, fairly tame by current standards, but uh, there was a sexual frankness about the subject they really bothered a lot of censors, but you read it now and really you wouldn't, you wouldn't raise an eyebrow to look yeah, at and it. And I understand he got sick in his later years and kind of fell off the map, so you are now trying to bring are, back his writings. This is a, an important Ohio writer. We think he is uh, as important as Sherwood Anderson and Toni Morrison. This is someone from right here who began his uh, writing career. And and was a contender, and we just got to bring him back. I, that's what I hope. All right, so here's the book. This is about a hometown hero, a hobo, who ended up being a Hollywood heavyweight. And that story is a real page turner. My thanks to Paul Bauer. Um, you can read about him, about Jim Tully himself, in Jim Tully, American writer, Irish Rover, Hollywood Brawler. To get a read on how to find this book for yourself, use the information that's coming up next. To learn more or to order the book, Call Kent State University Press at 330-672-7913 or click to 
www.kentstateuniversitypress.com.